Welcome back. Today I wanted to give you a short video on how to make a simple spline keepsake box. If you watched my dovetail mitered uh, spline box video, I went into greater detail on each step of making the box. Um, so if you want more details, click on the link for that video. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and get started here. So I'm just making some simple miters using my router table. You can, of course, do any way that you feel comfortable making miters. Take a little time here to line up the grains, get the prettiest look. I like nice thick tape for this. This tape is going to act as a simple clamp. Just make that into a box, tape off the last corner, assure that it's square. So this simple spline jig is very easy to make and just goes over the fence. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there on how to make one. I've made a lot of just straight splines and for this box I decided that I wanted to angle them. So my blade is set at 20 degrees. You want to get the height just right. When you have the blade set, it's easy to batch out several of these at once. Just move the um, fence over so that I got perfectly the same increment on each of the three different passes for each side. So it's gonna have six splines total. The splines really help to strengthen the miter joint and they add a nice decorative feature to it. There are several ways to make splines that are the same um, width as the kerf of your blade. I found this technique on YouTube, so I just keep using this same piece of wood that's set for this blade. I will put a link in the description on how to make splines using this technique. When you're making them, you might as well make several if you're going to be using the same blade for a while. Now I have to glue up a whole bunch of these. Um, when you're batching these out, it does end up being a lot of splines, apply plenty of glue. The spline should be just the right thickness. So it, you know, you have to push it in a little bit to get it in there and it stays all by itself. There's no need to apply any clamps or anything to these. I like to clean these up using a flush trim bit. Makes quick work of this. Decided to use an eighth inch round over bit for the corners. And I like that it kind of gives the splines a little bit more of a U look instead of a V look. You know, whatever your personal preference is, is totally great there. And just glued tops and bottoms on. I'm going to flush trim those pieces once they've dried. Now for the stressful part, cutting this open. You always want to make sure you don't mess up this step. A riving knife on the saw helps to make this um, go a little smoother than if you don't have that. Just laser engrave some little, these are memory boxes, so laser engrave something special on the top of them as well as on the inside. And again, in that other video, I give more details on this step. I just made a simple frame to go around that laser engraving and flock the box. And then I'm just going to apply your hardware of choice. Just make sure everything stays nice and um, square, flush to each other. These little screws and I rarely get along very well. Um, but, uh, you know, it's really not a very difficult step.
I just use a little spray lacquer for the finish and you have a really nice gift to give someone and a keepsake item that can be very special. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of my woodworking.